In this lesson, we will observe a wedding. Observaremos una boda. And learn about family life. Y aprenderemos sobre la vida familiar. First, some vocabulary. To fall in love. Enamorarse. To get involved. Involucrarse. To work out. Resultar. To introduce to. Presentarse a. To meet. Met. Conocer. Conoció. To encourage. Dar ánimos. To get pregnant. Quedar embarazada. Congratulations. Felicitaciones. Kind of sad. Sort of sad. Somewhat sad. Algo triste. Years old. Years of age. Años de edad. As long as. Por tanto tiempo que. Hardly, scarcely, barely. Apenas. I can hardly sleep with that music. Apenas puedo dormir con esa música. Welcome to my new profession. Bienvenido a mi nueva profesión. That of psychological counselor. Consejero es psicológico. For me, this work is better. Para mí este trabajo es mejor. And the money is the best. Y el dinero es el mejor. Come in, young man. <clears throat> Come in, take a seat. Uh, please don't mess with my mess. Oh. No hace desorden con mi desorden. You look a little bit miserable. Se ve un poco triste, un poco mal. Doctor, I think I'm in love. Creo que estoy enamorado. Then you should be happy. Debes estar feliz. The thing is, doctor, I have not finished my studies yet. No he terminado mis estudios todavía. Between school and work, entre mi trabajo y la escuela, I have no time. No tengo tiempo. No me puedo meter en una relación ahora. I cannot get involved right now. I'm feeling very confused. Muy confundido estoy, doctor. Mm. I feel like dancing. Hey! Turn down that music. Baja esa música. Huh. Uh, you are not having intimate relations, are you? No está teniendo relaciones íntimas, ¿verdad? Mm. Please, doctor. My father taught me to respect the ladies. Mi papá me enseñó a respetar a las damas. I think I have the solution. Creo que tengo la solución. You should take up a new activity. Dancing? Dancing. Mm. Algún nueva actividad. Mm. Eh, a hobby. Some form of recreation. Una ficción, una forma de recreación. 
practice it with enthusiasm, pongale ganas, enthusiasmo, eh, something that relaxes your mind. Algo que relaja la mente. I will take your advice, doctor. Voy a tomar su consejo. Great. And uh, let me know how it works out. Está bien. Okay. Hágame saber cómo resulta. music again. Uh, come in. Don't be shy. Huh. No seas timida. Doctor, I'd like to introduce you to Claudia. Mm. Me gustaría presentarle a Claudia, doctor. How nice to see you again. Gusto de verlo nuevamente. Glad to see you too, Harry. Gusto en verte otra vez. Doctor, Claudia is pregnant. Ella está embarazada. I thought it was a basketball. No. Yo pensé que fue un baloncesto. Congratulations. Felicitaciones. I hope your baby likes the music. <laughs> Espero que tu baby le guste la música. <laughs> How did you get pregnant? Como saliste embarazada? Doctor, I was just practicing. Solamente estaba practicando. Just like you told me. Exactamente como usted me dijo. With enthusiasm. Con mucho entusiasmo. I didn't mean... No, no me refería... Don't you know about family planning? ¿No conoces de la planificación familiar? Doctor, we have our doubts about family planning. Nosotros tenemos nuestra duda sobre planificación familiar. How so? ¿Cómo es así? Dígame. I was the last of 12 children. Mm -hmm. Fui la última de 12 hijos. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Maybe this will be the first of 12 for you. Posiblemente este va a ser el primero de 12 para ti. Eh, what does your family think of him? ¿Qué opina tu familia de él? My father is encouraging him to get married with me. Doctor, do you do marriages? Usted hace matrimonio. I, I have a license for it. Tengo mi licencia. Huh. How about right now? ¿Qué tal? Ahora mismo. Huh. Mm. Of course, for a small extra fee. Para una pequeña cuota adicional. Well, what are we waiting for? ¿A qué esperamos? Vamos. Well, okay. Uh, just get yourselves relaxed. Pónganse relajados. Now, just imagine Claudia in a beautiful dress. Ah, sí. En una traje linda. Lots of flowers everywhere. Flores por todos lados. A lovely, lovely wedding scene. Una escena de matrimonio linda, linda, linda. Floripundio, take Claudia by the right hand and say to her, Claudia, I take you to be my wife. Claudia, I take you to be my wife. Yo te acepto como mi esposa. 
to share sorrow and joy, to share sorrow and joy, para compartir la tristeza y la alegría, to grow with you in love, to grow with you in love, para crecer contigo en el amor, serving mankind in peace and hope, serving mankind with peace and hope, sirviendo a la humanidad en paz y esperanza, as long as we both shall live, as long as we both shall live, para todo nuestras vidas. Claudia, take Floripundio by the right hand and say to him, Floripundio, I take you to be my husband. Floripundio, I take you to be my husband. Yo te acepto con mi esposo to share sorrow and joy. To share sorrow and joy. To grow with you in love. To grow with you in love. Serving mankind in peace and hope. Serving mankind in peace and hope. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. Uh-oh. We don't have any rings. No wedding rings. No tenemos los anillos de matrimonio. Ah. I'll use these handcuffs. Voy a usar estas esposas. They are almost the same thing. Son casi la misma cosa. Now say to each other, Floripundio y Claudia, I give you this ring. I, I give, give you, you this, this ring. Te doy este anillo as a symbol. As, as a, a symbol. symbol. Como un símbolo. Of my love and faithfulness. Of, of my, my love, love and, and faithfulness. faithfulness. De mi amor y mi fidelidad. I hereby declare, ante la ley yo los declaro, you, husband and wife, marido y mujer. <laughs> you may now kiss each other. Ahora pueden besarse. Stop dreaming. Dejen de soñar. Sign here. Firme ahí. What's this for? ¿Para qué es eso? It's your promise to pay. Oh. Su promesa de pagar. Uh, for what? For your marriage license. Okay, okay. Uh, we'll sign. Sure. Very good. Congratulations. Felicitaciones. You are now married. You are now man and wife. That's it? Uh, not all. We'll bill you. Le vamos a mandar la cuenta. Take it, go to Hawaii. Oh, my. And have a beautiful honeymoon. Oh, my. Mira, mi amor, pájalo loco. Uh, ¿Está muerto? No, está vivo. Oh. <laughs> Doctor, Floripundio. Now, now that we're together. Ahora que estamos juntos. How can we have the best marriage? ¿Cómo pudiéramos tener el mejor matrimonio? That's tough. Eso sí es duro. ¿Por qué? 
It, you have to be like, tienes que ser como the dog, um, the burro, burro, and the pig. pig. El perro, el burro, y el chancho. El cochino. Uh -huh. El cochino. Uh, the dog is faithful. Mm -hmm. El perro es fiel. Sí, sí. The burro carries the burden. Oh. Lleva la carga. And the pig, the pig is intelligent. El chancho es inteligente. Sí. But he doesn't argue. No discuta. Anything else? Eh, algo más. Yes. See the best in each other. Vea lo mejor el uno del otro. Sí, sí. Watch what you say. Tomar cuidado en lo que dices. Sí, es verdad. And put a limit on your desires. Poner un límite en sus deseos. Sí, sí. Doctor, do you have any advice regarding her pregnancy? Este, sí, sí. ¿Tiene algún consejo sobre su embarazo? Try to keep her happy. Trata de mantenerla feliz. Don't play music as loud as our neighbors. No toque la música tan fuerte como nuestros vecinos. Don't watch too violent of TV programs. No mire programas demasiado violentos en la televisión. Uh, she should eat natural, healthy food. Apple. Apples. Comida natural y sano. Sí, sí. And uh, no alcohol, no tobacco, and no coffee. Mm. No alcohol, tobacco, café. Alcohol, tobacco, café. And of course, no drugs. No drugs. Mm. Exactly. Follow the doctor's advice. Ah. Sigue las indicaciones del médico. I'm the doctor. Oh, doctor. How can I be a good parent? ¿Cómo pudiera ser, cómo pudiéramos ser buenos padres? Oh, that's too big of a question for now. Mm. Es una pregunta muy grande para ahora. Lead a good and honest life. Mm -hmm. Llevar una vida buena y honrado. Uh, so, where are you going for your honeymoon? Oh, ¿A dónde va para la luna de miel? Our life will be our honeymoon. Nuestra vida será nuestra luna de miel. We don't have a choice. No tenemos otra opción. After paying your fees, después de pagar sus cuentas, we are broke. Nos quedamos en quiebra y sin dinero. And now some review questions. Repeat. Did the young man look miserable? Did the young man look miserable? Yes, he looked kind of miserable. Yes, he looked kind of miserable. Did he get her pregnant? Did he get her pregnant? Yes, he got her pregnant. Yes, he got her pregnant. Is Claudia's father encouraging him to get married? Is Claudia's father encouraging him to get married? Yes, her father is encouraging him to get married. Yes, her father is encouraging him to get married. Are rings a symbol of faithfulness? Are rings a symbol of faithfulness? Yes, they are a symbol of faithfulness. Yes. They are a symbol of faithfulness. Does the burro carry the burden? Does the burro carry the burden? Yes, the burro carries the burden. Yes, the burro carries the burden. Does the pig argue? Does the pig argue? 
No, the pig doesn't argue. No, the pig doesn't argue. Should she eat healthy natural food? Should she eat healthy and natural foods? Yes, she should eat healthy natural food. Yes, she should eat healthy and natural foods. How can he be a good parent? How can he be a good parent? By leading a good and honest life. By leading a good and honest life. And now, some vocabulary. A field of happiness. Un campo de felicidad. Grandparents. Abuelos. Mother-in-law. Suegra. In-laws. Parientes por matrimonio. Cousins. Primos. Grandchildren. Nietos. Niece. Sobrina. Nephew. Sobrino. Children or kids. Hijos o niños. Live nearby. Vivir cerca. Immediate family. Familia inmediata. The mind. La mente. To mind or to obey. Obedecer. He doesn't mind. No obedece o no le molesta. People say, Love is blind, el amor es ciego, but marriage opens the eyes, el matrimonio abre los ojos. They also say, you don't marry the person, no se casa con el individuo, you marry the family, se casa con la familia. And now, Floripundio and Claudia will introduce us to their family. Nos van a presentar a su familia. Okay, I mean. Well, let's start with grandparents. Vamos a empezar con abuelos. This is my grandfather, my mom's father. Él es mi abuelo. El papá de mi mamá. Él murió hace 15 años. He died 15 years ago. Hmm, very nice. He looks like a gentleman. Se ve como un caballero. I didn't get to meet him. No lo conocí. This is my great grandmother. Ella es mi tatarabuela. She is my father's grandmother. Ella es la abuela de mi papá. She died two years ago. Ella murió hace dos años. Hmm. It looks like she was born in a small town in the state of Sinaloa, Mexico. Se nació en un pueblo chiquito, ahí en Sinaloa, Mexico. Mm -hmm. In 1907, in 1907. ¿Y quién tenemos aquí? That is my uncle, mi tío. He is my father's brother. Él es el hermano de mi papá. He's nothing more than a teenager. No es más que un joven. That was 15 years ago. Eso fue hace 15 años. We have another picture here, a more recent one. 
from the same guy. Un foto Una foto más recién del hermano. My aunt, which is my mother's sister, la hermana de mi mamá, my uncle, el hermano de mi papá, mi tío, and their daughter, y su hija. So they are your relatives by marriage. Exacto. Son sus parientes por matrimonio. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And here we have Claudia's sisters and cousin. Una hermana y una prima. This is my sister. Ella es mi hermana. Mm -hmm. This is my cousin. Ella es mi prima. And this is me. Soy yo. Bien, Linda. Do they live nearby you? Viven cerca a ustedes? Yes. They live two blocks from our house. Sí, es verdad. Ellas viven a dos cuadras de nuestra casa. Eh, her sister. Mm -hmm. What is she for you? Ella es mi cuñada. She is my sister-in-law. And last, but not least, where are they? Here they are. We have here, well, I'll let her tell you. Les voy a dejar aquella. My parents, mis padres, my mother, mi mamá, my father, mi papá. So they are your... Ellos son mis suegros. These are my father-in-law and my mother-in-law. Mis suegros. Do you visit them from time to time? Les hacen visitas de vez en cuando? Oh, yes. Very often. Muy a menudo. Para la comida. For the food. I love my parents a lot. Yo quiero mis padres mucho. This was my family. <clears throat> I'm sorry. This is our family. Ah, sí. Mine too. In this lesson, we will learn how to lose weight, como perder peso, how to get in shape, como ponerse en forma, at the same time as we learn English. Remember to repeat all my English. Vocabulary. Slow stretching. El estiramiento lento. Physical training. Entrenamiento físico. Vigorous exercise. Ejercicio fuerte. Fattening food. Comidas que engordan. Subtle essence. Esencia sutil. Unexpected benefits. Beneficios inesperados. To be healthy. Tener una buena salud. To be fit or in shape. Estar en condición física. To lose weight. Bajar de peso. To be hungry. Tener hambre. To eat frugally or moderately. Comer moderadamente. To effortlessly enjoy. Disfrutar sin esfuerzo. I used to be a hippie bum, but now I'm a doctor. Are you ready to lose weight? Para perder peso and get in shape? Y ponerse en forma?
My husband forced me to come. Tu marido le obligó a venir aquí. How so? ¿Cómo es eso? He wants me to lose five pounds a week. ¿Quiere que bajas de cinco libras a la semana? That way, I'll disappear. Así vas a desaparecer. He wants to get rid of me in one year. Quiere deshacerse de ti en un año. Here. Have some food. No, thank you. I have some already. Lady, women need some fat to be healthy. Las mujeres necesitan algo de gordura para estar sano. We need some fat. But how did you get like this? ¿Cómo te hiciste así? Like this? I ate a ton of sugar. It made me very sweet. It also made me very round. Now I can't find my feet. Comió mucho azúcar, se puso muy dulce y también muy redonda y ahora no se encuentra sus pies. Let's check your medical history, su historial médico. Any history of heart attack or stroke? Ataque de corazón o embolio? Diabetes, cancer, diabetes o cancer. Doctor, I'm only 200 pounds. Solo peso 200 libras. It could be worse. Podría ser peor. I could weigh 300 pounds. I'm going to give you a physical examination. Un examen físico. I ought to give you a mental examination, un examen mental. Put your arm here, please. Okay. Don't worry, it won't explode. No va a estallar. Ay, it is higher than normal. Está más alto que lo normal. Nothing to worry about. Too much. No es demasiado para preocuparse. Let's check your measurements. Huh. No? Uh, let's check your uh, heartbeat here. Let's check your weight, tu peso. Take this off, please. Quítame esto, por favor. I need a scale to weigh you. I don't have a scale. Thank you. Put it down on the floor. Stand up on it. Parate en ello. Stand up on it. Carefully. Carefully. Easy does it. Cuidado. Suave. Oh, you broke it. La rompiste. You're over 300 pounds. Step down, please. Step down, please. Uh, try touching your toes. Trate de tocar los dedos de los pies. Try touching your toes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you can find them. <laughs> Bend over, bend over slowly. Good, 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 good. Help! 
Ayúdame, I'm stuck. Call the paramedics. Llamo a los paramédicos, estoy atorada. Are you suffering from any particular symptom? ¿Estás sufriendo de alguna síntoma en particular? I've got insomnia. El insomnio. How so? Explain. I tried to sleep all day and I can't. Tratas de dormir todo el día y no puedes. How did you get so lazy? ¿Cómo te pusiste tan floja? Careful planning and dedication. Una planificación y dedicación cuidadosa. Come closer. Nearer. Acerque. Hmm. The eyes lack glow. Hair, face, and skin lack color. Okay. Your posture is terrible. La postura está terrible. Your back is curved. Tiene la espalda doblada. Y your hips are too wide. Tiene las caderas muy anchas. Stand up, please. Stand up. <coughs> Carefully. Okay. Now, try to pull in your stomach. Mm -hmm. Now, stand straight and tall. Hmm. Erigida y derecho. That's a little better. That's a little better. <laughs> Let's look at what goes on inside the body. What goes on inside the body? Lo que pasa dentro del cuerpo. Stand up, please. <laughs> Food is chewed in the mouth. La comida se mastica en la boca. It is swallowed in the throat. Se traga en la garganta. <laughs> uh, it is digested in the stomach. Se digiere en el estómago. A rather large stomach you have. Algo grande. Oxygen is brought in through the lungs. El oxígeno te, que se trae por la, los pulmones. Nutrients and oxygen travel through the arteries and veins. Viajan por las arterias y las venas. They are burned in the muscles. Están quemadas en los músculos. You have muscles, let's see. Se queman en los músculos. Sit down. Food into energy. Fuel and combustion. De comida en energía, combustible y combustión. Fat is too much fuel. La gordura es exceso de combustible. And not enough combustion. Y no suficiente combustión. Fat is just stored fuel. Es solo combustible almacenado. You need to wake up, please. Hello. Wake up. Miss Claudia, wake up. You need to stop eating so much. Deja de comer tanto. And start an exercise program. Empezar a hacer un programa de ejercicios. <laughs> Thank you.
diet, la dieta. There are many special diets to lose weight. Muchas dietas especiales. The rabbit diet is one possibility. La dieta del conejo. You just eat lettuce and similar food items. Solo come lechuga y cosas de alimentación por el estilo. The aroma diet is another possibility. La dieta del aroma. You can have as much as you want, lo más que quieres, but only to smell. Then there's the hot sauce diet. You drink some hot sauce, and then you light a match. Se prende un fósforo. The Chinese diet is one of my favorites. La dieta china es una de mis favoritas. You can have as much as you want, but you only get one chopstick. Solo te dan un palito chino para comer. Is that how you eat? ¿Es así como comes tú? That's why you're so skinny. Por eso estás tan flaco. Hmm. We do not recommend extreme diets. No recomendamos dietas extremos. You only need to eat food that is fresh and natural. Number one, fried foods and processed foods can be fattening. Comidas fritas y procesadas pueden engordar. And clog up the system. Eh, aturar el sistema digestivo. Number two, eat in moderation. Comer en moderación. Quit eating before you are full, antes de llenarse. Eat only when truly hungry. Solo comer cuando tiene verdadera hambre. Number three, eat foods with fiber. Comer cosas que tienen fibra. Whole grains, granos integrales, Fruit, fruta, some raw vegetables, algo de verdura cruda. Number four, use a minimum of fats, grasas, salt, sal, white bread, pan blanco, sweets, dulces, beer, cerveza, etc. Beer is recommended for nothing. La cerveza no se recomienda para nada. Number five. Young lady, wake up. Pay attention. Number five. Eat in peace. Comer en paz. Take a few moments of silence. Tomar unos momentos de silencio. Then eat, chewing the food well. Masticando bien la comida. Enjoy its subtle essence. Disfruta su esencia sutil. Avoid negative discussion. Evita la conversación negativa. TV, television, etc. When eating. La televisión, etc. Cuando está comiendo.
Do women need some fat? Do women need some fat? Yes, they need some fat to be healthy. Yes, they need some fat to be healthy. How much does Claudia weigh? How much does Claudia weigh? She only weighs 200 pounds. She only weighs 200 pounds. How is her posture? How is her posture? Her posture is terrible. Her posture is terrible. Where is food burned? Where is food burned? It is burned in the muscle. It is burned in the muscle. Should Claudia modify her diet? Should Claudia modify her diet? Yes, she should. Yes, she should. She should modify her diet. She should modify her diet. Are extreme diets recommended? Are extreme diets recommended? No, they are not. No, they are not. Extreme diets are not recommended. Extreme diets are not recommended. What about exercise? Exercise has to be vigorous to lose weight. Tiene que ser con vigor. You have to breathe deeply and vigorously. Tiene que respirar profundo y con vigor. The heart has to pump blood. The heart has to pump blood. El corazón tiene que bombear la sangre. It has to continue for some time. El ejercicio debe continuar por algún tiempo. At least 15 to 30 minutes. Por lo menos 15 a 30 minutos. And you have to do it regularly. Tiene que hacerlo con regularidad. The experts say one half hour of exercise at least three times a week, at least. How do I get started? Consult your doctor first. Consulte su médico. Eh, you may need some training. Puede necesitar algún entrenamiento. Eh, start a new exercise program slowly and gradually. Comienza un programa nuevo lentamente y gradualmente. Before each session, warm up. Antes de cada sesión, warm up. Caliéntese. Eh, wake up. Will exercise help my laziness? No doubt about it. No doubt about it. No cabe duda. It will have many unexpected benefits. Va a tener muchos beneficios que no espera. <clears throat> Besides losing weight. Aparte de perder peso. What is the best exercise for me? ¿Cuál es el mejor ejercicio para mí? The best exercise, the one you actually do. El que realmente haces. Let's do a visualization. Vamos a hacer una visualización. Sit comfortably. Sit back. Close your eyes. I want you to just imagine. Solo imagínate. There are so many beautiful forms. Hay tantas formas tan bellas. Try to see yourself moving. Trata de verte moviendo. 
effortlessly enjoying the flow, disfrutando sin esfuerzo el fluir. Walking is a great way to start. El caminar es una manera fabulosa de empezar. She is plugging in, está enchufando, her security device, su aparato de seguridad. If you can't do anything else, si no puedes hacer nada más, it is enough to just walk. Es suficiente solo caminar. But don't walk like the living dead. No camine como los muertos en vida. Come alive. Póngase viva. Stand up tall. Swing your arms. Párate arriba y mueve los brazos. Feel the radiant sunshine. Siente la luz del sol tan radiante. Breathe deeply and slowly. Respire profunda y lentamente. Enjoy the beautiful nature. Disfrute la belleza de la naturaleza. Jogging or slow running, el correr lento. What a joy, que fascinación. What rhythm, que ritmo. Hey, how about the marathon, al maratón, 26 miles, and I don't know how many hours, no sé cuántas horas. I'm getting tired just watching. Me canso solo mirar. Burn that fat. Burn that fat. I like it like that. I like it like that. Yeah. Go, baby, go. Go, baby, go. Bicycling. Bicycling is another option. Andar en bicicleta es otra opción. At least you get to sit down. Por lo menos puedes sentarte. Just pretend. Make believe. Imagine. Imagínate solamente that you are going downhill. Que vas en bajada. Enjoying the beautiful countryside. Disfrutando del campo tan bello. Even though it's not true. Aunque no sea verdad. Even though it hurts like hell. Aunque te duele terriblemente. Burn, baby, burn. Go for it. Go for it. The stepping machine, la máquina de escalar. It may look silly, ridículo. It may seem boring, aburrido. But with the right attitude, con la actitud correcta, just imagine you're climbing a mountain, que está subiendo una montaña. You're developing legs of steel. Que estás desarrollando piernas de acero. Powerful legs of steel. Climb, baby, climb. Escale, baby, escale. Climb, baby, climb. Inversion exercise. El ejercicio invertido. 
sends blood to dead brains, envía la sangre a los cerebros muertos. Highly popular, altamente popular, with bats, drunken sailors, and fat ladies, con murciélagos, marineros borrachos, y damas gordas. Develops endurance and strength. Desarrolla la resistencia y la fuerza. Hey, look how thin you're getting. Mire que flaquita te estás poniendo. Keep going. Don't stop now. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two.